everybody, welcome back. We're doing more Spiral Scouts, um, or these Spiral Scouts. Uh, and we are exploring, we just became a Spiral Scout. We found the Royal Garden, and we found Queen Marissa. Uh, this is Queen Vanessa. Marissa, Vanessa, and Cassandra. Wow, those names. Uh, oops. Uh, how do I equip it? Okay, A. Okay. What happens if we... Oops. Oops. I wanted to dig in the hole there. I can't fill in the holes once I dug them, I guess. I was curious if I could... Yeah, you can't. Okay. Okay. Uh, hi. Hi there, I'm Jeffrey. People call me the Gardener Knight because I'm a knight who's also a gardener. It makes sense. King Roland put me in charge of the Royal Garden because he knows everything there is to know about flowers. If you're curious about any of my flowers, show one to me and I'll tell you all about it. Sounds great. Uh, so I'm, I think we have to plant flowers in front of each girl. Uh, I guess let's ask him to take us to the flowers. Sure thing. I can't leave the garden though. Who, uh, who else would look after the flowers? Okay. Uh. This is a violet pansy. It represents the trait of beauty. Uh, which girl represents beauty? Me, Marissa. Vanessa or Cassandra. Well, let's say your beauty for now. What about this plant? What does this one represent? This is an orange daisy. It represents the trait of loyalty. Let's say that's you. This is an indigo iris. It represents the trait of generosity. I don't know enough about Vanessa, Cassandra, and what's her face? Uh, luck? Oops. Talk to me, dude. Uh, this is the green clover, it represents the trait of luck. Are we just planting them at random? I guess we are. What happens when we go over to pick? Dismiss. Okay. This is a red rose. It represents a trait of honesty. Yeah, I think I'm just picking them at willy nilly at this point and putting them down in front of each girl. I I don't know enough about this puzzle yet. I have a feeling that this is something we'll learn about very shortly. Let's just fill them all in and see if something happens. We still have like more flowers on the other side too, so I'm like wondering what those are all gonna be used for. All right. Well, that's that. If you're curious about any of my flowers, show them to me and I'll tell you all about it. Sounds great. All right. Well, that's that. At least we made the garden pretty. What's back here? Ooh, the kingdom. Oh, it's this guy again. Uh, hey, Pierre, what's up? You guarding some shit over here? Ah, uh, mademoiselle, I'm afraid that is not possible. King Z has revoked Pierre's knightship. How you say, it, constantly surrendering to the slightest, slightest discomfort. Aw, oh, cheer up, man. You might be a shit knight, but you're a pretty cool dude in my book. We? Oui? Yeah, dude, we a shit. Ah, uh, merci, merci for coup. Nose is a little big, but other than that, pretty great. Ah, once again, Pierre is foiled by this gargantuan snaz. Well, let's, ooh, we should save. Save stone. Game saving and warping. Oh, can we warp from here? Yes, okay, so that's how we warp. Enter the royal castle. Hi. The throne room is up ahead, but be careful, there's king and queen are going at it again. Yes. 
I like it when the king and queen fight. It reminds me of home. Oh, they're fighting. Well, what's in the other rooms? Do I really want to go there first? They cute! Oh my god, they're adorable! Are those crowns upside down? Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, asshole. My god, woman. Will you get off my nuts already? That's exactly the point. I'm trying to get on your nuts. How long has it been? What's the girl gotta do to get some around here? <laughs> bitch, I'm busy. I'm the fucking king of all the land in case you haven't noticed. My ass rolling. You don't do anything. You just can't get it up because you smack it too much. <gasps> Will I? Never. Whatever, Roland. All I know is that if I don't get some action real soon, I'm leaving your sorry ass. Fine, bitch. All you do is nag me about my bone dog anyways. Oh my god, that's another thing. Stop calling it a bone dog. Nobody calls it that. Nag. Ugh, I'm going to the bedroom. Which hallway is that down? Move. Only because you asked so nicely. Oof. Alright, well, she's cool. Hi, king. I like his upside down crown, that's so cool. Fucking bitch, nag me about my bone dog. Ain't nothing wrong with my bone dog, hmm? Aha! Greetings, citizen. I am King Roland, ruler of the forest. You must be Wealth's new daughter. She's going and telling everybody about... Uh, something like that. How can the Spiral Scouts be of service today? Mm, actually, you came just in time, Scout. You see, the missus and I are having some marital trouble. Bone dog problems. Ha! See? Wrong again, Vale. Everybody calls it a bone dog. Yep. Having a little trouble getting the old bee dog up. Nothing to be ashamed of. Happens to the best of us. What? No, it doesn't. You should definitely be ashamed of that. Or, well, it's definitely not because I smack it too much. I'm just stressed out, you know? It ain't easy being king. But you can help, Scout. I have just a task for you. Your official orders are to go see the witch and see if she can brew up an elixir to help with, you know, a sleepy puppy. Consider it done. Ha! You can always count on the spiral, Scouts. Erectile dysfunction has been added to your spiral stash. All right. Well, let's go and talk to the witch. Personally, I side with the king. Sometimes a man needs to unleash the demons, sometimes three times a day. Personally, I side with the queen. I mean, how hard is it to bone the old lady every now and again? If she were my wife, I'd bone her all the time. Well, how about that? All right, what's these other rooms? Oh, here's the queen's bedroom. Separate beds. If I don't get someone to that capital D real soon, I'm gonna lose my crazy mind. Oh, poor queen. Oh, I could sleep in the royal quarters. I don't need to sleep. Anything back here I can grab? No. All right. Well, bye, queen. Uh, what we got over here? Gotta work on walk on the rug. Uh oh, it's the princesses from the garden. Queen Marissa, the fair queen who still bear king in lieu of the many dreams of her own. Well, that's really sad. Queen Vanessa, the wise queen who never lied to her people and remained untainted by forces of corruption. And the Queen Cassandra, the gracious queen who never boasted about the many charitable acts she had performed. All right, so I feel like these are things that I should write down. So let me get a piece of paper out. Cause like, remember they said like, you're probably gonna need a piece of paper to write down puzzle hints. So Cassandra. Gracious queen who never boasted, never boasted. Charitable. All right, so those are the three words I got for her. Gracious, uh, never boasted, and charitable. And then let's go, who is this? This was Vanessa, so Vanessa. Wise, never lied, I guess that's loyal, right? Uh, untainted by corruption. Perfect, those are three things. So for her we got wise, never lied, and untainted by corruption. And then for Marissa, fair. Loyal. I mean, it just says the fair queen who stood by her king in lieu of the many dreams of her own. I guess she's meek. All right, so I have fair, loyal, and meek. Let's see if those equate to anything. Uh, cool. Oh, more sugar. Sweet, don't mind if I do. All right. Well, all right, let's find some witch so he can fix his erectile dysfunction. You know what I'm talking about? 
Kiss him. What was this? This plant has evolved to feel nothing but intense anxiety at all times, for it knows darkness draws near with every passing moment. Good lord! <laughs> That's terrible! Anxiety disorder plant. I guess eventually we'll probably come to want to talk to him. Uh, nothing back here. Can we go back? No, we can't go back there. Okay. Well, that's this area. All right, cool. There's an anxiety plant out front. Uh, yeah, let's let's do this. Uh, follow me to flowers. All right. All right, cool. You don't have to leave, dude. Just come with me. All right, so this is Marissa. Remember, she was fair, loyal, and meek. So this is... This is the white lily represents the trait of purity. Uh, I'm gonna leave that over here. I don't think that was any of them, right? Let's see what's this. Oops. Uh, pink cosmos represents the trait of kindness. Hmm. I guess I'll go for Cassandra, but I'll put that here right now. Okay, so come over here. Let's check this one out. What is this? Red rose represents the trait of honesty. So that's gonna go for Vanessa. Uh, so I'm gonna put that here for right now. Who is Vanessa? Okay, this is Vanessa. Alright, so I'm gonna. Oops. Alright, so we're gonna put the red flower here. Oh, what's this one for? This is an orange daisy represents the trait of loyalty. So that's gonna go for Marissa. So that's this girl. This is her, right? Okay, yeah. So then we need the red rose to put in front of her. Who is this again? They're all their names are so familiar. Vanessa. Okay. So what is this one? The blue orchid represents the trait of intelligence. So that's her still. Uh, yellow Narcissus represents a trait of humility. So her things were wise, never lied, and untainted by corruption. Mm. Humility. That's gonna go for Cassandra. So that's gonna go for this girl on the far right. Put that down. Not the clover. God damn it. Alright. This is definitely Queen Cassandra. Okay, so let's. Talk to me, baby. Indigo Iris is some trait of generosity. So, yeah, this probably should stay here. I don't know if any of them were lucky. So I'm gonna put this over here. There's still a ton of flowers on the other side. So we said this one went to her, Cassandra? Let's see. Yellow Narcissus represents the trait of humility. Cassandra was gracious, never boasted, and charitable. Yeah, so that's Cassandra. And then this one means... Your boy's tulip represents a trait of ambition. So, so I'm like reading my notes. I don't know if any of them were very ambitious. Cassandra was gracious, never boasted, and charitable. So I don't think it was Cassandra. Vanessa was wise, never lied, and untainted by corruption. And then Marissa was fair, loyal, and meek. So I don't know if this represents any of them. I'm gonna put this back. And then we have to forget what this one is. What is this one? Uh, this is a violet pansy represents the trait of beauty. None of them were listed as being beautiful. I'm gonna put this back. What was this one? White lily represents the trait of purity. Fair, loyal, meek, wise, never lied, untainted by corruption. So Vanessa gets this one. All right, Vanessa's done. Hey, 
King Cosmo resents a trait of kindness. Gracious, never boasted, charitable, fair, loyal, and mean. So I think this is gonna go to Marissa. We're still missing two flowers. The other side has more of the same. These are all the same flowers in case you needed two of the same one. Hmm. What's this one again? <laughs> Turquoise tulip presents the trait of ambition. So Cassandra and Marissa are the ones who recently so gracious, never boasted, and charitable. I guess this could go to Cassandra. I guess. Like if I'm stretching. I wonder if this puzzle even like does anything. And then this one was the luck, and this one was something else. Let's see, this was Marissa. Yeah. So Marissa was fair, loyal, and meek. Talk to me. <laughs> Trait of beauty. Well, I guess she's beautiful, so why not? All right, really, I'm just done with this puzzle. Hopefully that was like enough. I don't know what this means, but there you go. So hopefully we can find the witch in this dark corner. Let's see. Oh, some bees. What's going on here? Oh, there's wealth. Oh, Rame, I'm glad you're here. Can I borrow you for a second? All right, but you better not be weird about the daughter thing. Those bees, their faces. What's up? You see this big tree? You notice how it's all like crusty and nasty and shit? Yeah, is it dead? It looks dead. Nah, I'm pretty sure it's just depressed. The rumor going around is that its girlfriend recently broke up with it. Also, it doesn't have a face, so I'd be pretty depressed too if everyone had a face except me, wouldn't you? Eh, having a face isn't everything. I guess that's true. But we should still try and cheer this thing up before its depression starts affecting the forest. What about booze? That seems to work for you. Way ahead of you. I already tried pouring booze onto it, but nothing happened. I think we'll need something stronger. I think I think we might need an antidepressant elixir. An anti antidepressant elixir? Yeah, that definitely maybe work. Go see if the witch can brew one up for us. She's just south of here. Right. Sad softwood has been added to your spiral stash. All right. Okay. So if I shake the flowers, the bees move. Some are closed and some are open. This is another puzzle. Interesting. All right, let's go to the witch. Whoa, oh no! What happened? Did we die? Oh, we just fell asleep. Okay. Well, I won't do that again. There's the witch! Oh my god, she's adorable! We'll see what wealth's tip is. Smell shroom pond. Beware of the forest smell shrooms. They're toxic to touch unless they're at the peak of ripeness. It takes a very keen sense of smell to detect peak ripeness. Please use extreme caution. Peak ripeness. All right. Oh my god, she's adorable! Her name's Slam. What's poppin', baby? The name's Slam, Slam Jackson. I'm a witch. No, I'm the witch, the greatest of all time witch. I'm number one, world class superstar motherfucking witch. <laughs> Hi, um, you shut the fuck up when Slam Jackson's talking, baby. You want elixirs? I got them. I brew those old boys up like blop, blam, shazam. But you gotta admit, you gotta hit me all the ingredients, you dig? I ain't got no ingredients, ain't got no elixir. You got questions? You come ask Slam Jackson, baby. That's the, my jimity jam. I answer these motherfuckers like blippity blam. I can brew up an elixir, antidepressant elixir, or a variety, variety elixir, or an ass elixir. The motherfucker kind of elixir you trying to know about. Uh, so let's do the virality first. Mm, the virality elixir will get that thing rock hard. All Slam need is a golden flower and a rainbow flower. When I think of flowers, I think garden. Word association, baby. All right, so we need a, what was it? A rainbow and a, uh, so let's see. All right, so let's write those down too. Uh, okay, so virality elixir.
That needs golden flower and rainbow flower. All right, well, let's see what she needs for the other ones. Maybe if I get them right for each statue, those flowers will grow. And then let's see what we need for the antidepressant elixir. Says for sure, baby. Uh, for sure, for sure, baby. The antidepressant elixir is sure to turn that frown upside down. All slab needs for you is three serotonin seeds. And I don't think I need the ass elixir. Oh, you, you can extract serotonin seeds from an anxiety disorder plants you dig, but it's anybody's guess on how to crack those freaky freaks open. Uh, and then let's find out how I can make the ass one, just in case. Oh no, now that's a strong drink. For that, Slam's gonna need a sweet butt juice, a sour butt juice, and three perfectly ripe smell shrooms. So, ass. Good. Sweet butt juice. Sour. Juice and three perfectly ripe smell shoes. Those are the ones around us. Sure. All right, got it. Smell shrooms is all these purple sh shits around us, but be careful, baby. These things are highly toxic unless they're perfectly ripe. They're not gonna bitch us out flat, dead. Okay, okay, all right, we got it, we got it, we got it. All right. Can I take one now? Nope, they're still not ripe. All right. Well, next time on the next episode of Kitty Cat Gaming, we are going to make the elixir so we can help the king, so we can help wealth, and uh, continue on with the game. Uh, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss the next episode, and I'll see you guys all then. Bye, everybody. <laughs>